guys, just give me a second to reply to this. Uh, wait, wait oh, jeez, I hope I did not lose connection. Okay, I did. I wasn't clicking. Um, welcome, guys. Song Rex here, back with another video. Uh, this one's an item review. Ignore all this stuff. These will be coming in the future. All these rebirth items and stuff. But uh, I'm gonna be showing you my only exotic I have right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get my hands on other ones, but this is what I got right now. And it is the exotic Excalibur. And uh, let me just start off by saying that it is a good looking furnace. Uh, I'm just gonna point out that it's the most OP or greatest furnace in the game so far. Uh, oh, you can actually stand on the sword. And I guess that's supposed to be the actual Excalibur itself. Uh, it, it does take up a quite a bit of space. It's not really too much though. My setups always find room for it. <coughs> and it is, it has some strange properties. Cool properties. And let me just start off by saying, uh, let me actually put this plasma conveyor down so that you can actually see for yourself. This is a lot of doors are causing lag. Yeah, okay, that's right. Um, so if I can place it, okay. What? That's not right. Okay. I'm gonna take off a couple of these fires because I think they're lagging the server down a bit. I think also the server is just too laggy. Let me just drop some things. If you don't notice already, use coal, please. Use partner life. I actually don't want to say that one because I'm trying to tell my friend this and ask me in caps. And then you <laughs> uh, use bear. Oh, uh, wait. What was that one? Uh, I only know. That cool, please, is one. Uh, there is another one, but I don't remember it quite as well. Uh, this, it's not really trying to show you how great it is right now. Being a little stubborn, I think I'm gonna have to switch servers, but we'll see about that. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I, this is getting a little awkward. Uh, let me just cut to chase. It does times 100 the ore value, and any and if it's a Good ore, it'll keep that ore value for five seconds and apply it to whatever other ores come through. As you can see, these Spitfire Iron Lines are going about 200 and stuff. Oh. Uh, and the moment. Weird. Oh, I think I know what to do. The ores are burning too fast and they don't have time to hit it. So let me just fix that. Uh, move it back some so it'll actually work. That might be. Okay, it's just right. <laughs> And it is right here. I also want to make this my voice a little louder because in my videos it's sometimes hard to hear me and I want to eliminate that. Um, yeah, now I'm getting QD. So, the Spitfire era, I wonder, the Spitfire Iron Mines, they're worth two bucks for every single ore that they spit out. How am I getting this money? Simple. I have a great new team mine, Big Bertha, and 10 BBBs. So that's times a whole lot. Excuse me, it's actually code, please. I spelled it wrong. Uh, anyways, so the moment one of these great uh, Big Bertha BBB Newtonium ores come through, it's gonna hit this and then retain the value of that and apply it to any other ore that, that hits it. So these Spitfire Iron Mines, each one of the ores would then become worth QDs. Well, I think it's trillions actually, and then the Excalibur multiplies it times 100 to get QDs. So you can really make some overpowered setups with this best mine in the game. Uh, depending on how you see things, it might be second to Dark Magic or Sunken Past or Eternal Journey. But honestly, this, well, you know, this is always going to be your better, technically. Um, so I'm going to say. Uh, it's an exotic if you see the masked man selling it that is one way to get it or just unboxing it I'm pretty sure I got it from a regular box so I know it was an unreal uh, I was just so happy when I got it because it was my first exotic only exotic um, so
so yeah uh, I'll be reviewing all these other items uh, in the coming videos but for now you get Excalibur and it's pretty overpowered and just to show you that it just to show you that <clears throat> that it retains the ore value it proves to you if I take away the Spitfire Mines the amount of money I get is gonna really go down <laughs> and kind of be it's gonna be pitiful in comparison but let me just show you okay I got Septillion I wasn't planning to reverse from this but wait how did I get Septillion that makes absolutely no sense but I'll take it um as you can see when you do this you're really just getting a couple QD but when you put the Spitfire Iron Mind you get a whole lot of money like this stuff on his money though <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I def I definitely oh, I definitely recommend getting uh, Excalibur if you ever see a mass man selling it and open your crates. It's worth it. Uh, that's all I really any things I have to say about this. And if you want to use and it, <laughs> Sorry, my sister just came here and explained something to me. Uh, anyways, so and definitely keep it if you unbox it. Not like you can get rid of it, anyways. But use it over any other mines and use Spitfire mines in conjunction with it or any mines that have a high drop rate. Like, I'd say maybe you could use some industrial things. I don't really recommend that triple coal mines because it will apply to the. Wait, what did it apply to those? Let me just give you a little bit more than this video was supposed to give you. See if triple coal mines would actually work with the Excalibur if so this could really be some uh, it doesn't like actually it might be they're not as they don't have high a drop as high of a drop rate as uh, Spitfire so we're probably not gonna get the same amount of money but let's see yeah it looks like they do actually work so it can make ores that have absolutely no value even have value as long as it goes through it so i guess this could also mean that negative ores as long as they're not more negative than the ore that comes in is positive it will also be worth a lot so i'd recommend it you can use pinite you can use mithril use whatever spitfire mines really worth the best though or you could actually use some show you so some that you could do i'm pretty sure this platinum mine or is it or actually remote mines could even work work better but it's all up to you and that's where i'm gonna leave it off so wait, actually i'm gonna reverse hey. this video there's a little my order so that's why my order value was so low who wouldn't know this kind of, uh the reverse here i'm gonna end it a big birth wow because i need more than six of them <laughs> anyways i'm gonna end the video here remember to be cool, stay you, stay awesome. Be back. Oh, uh, hey guys, some rocks here. Give you another video, another item review, actually. Alright, just uh, taking a little bit from setups. Show you guys I can do a little bit more. Today I'll be showcasing the Catalyst and the Quantum or Cleaner, probably some of the birth items that you're going to be getting a lot of, and probably one of the first ones you're going to get. I've learned in my experience and my studies from combat. Um, I am reviewing them both in one video because they basically have the same stats. There's not really a difference. There's just like their appearance and how th their size. So let's just start off with the quantum here, and it the it's actually built off of the base of. The, if I can find it. Uh, the digital ore cleaner, and and then they also use the best ore atomizer, kind of uh, of the digital ore cleaner. But the digital ore cleaner, it only has one, while well, this thing has five. But and although it has five, only the middle one works, so that's what really upgrades it. Though it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, the times four, like I said, has some purple things here. Has I don't know what tank there. It's pretty cool looking. Looks kind of futuristic. Um technological rather um it does kind of look plain it has these things sticking up from the side 
it's I mean it looks nice but you know it's so so this one however it's kind of original it has like these weird tin cans here a bunch of exhaust flames coming out it has a suspended animated see-through electricity thingy and then this is upgraded itself right there it's kind of long i usually like to use this one um over this one because uh, they both move things incredibly fast i think this one moves it faster but this one's shorter so so it's probably gonna hit this earlier but uh, it's up to you and as you can see they both do times four so that's how iron man mines dropped the ore worth two dollars basic furnace just gives what it's worth and so they do times Four, so they have the same stats they don't have any special abilities like some upgraders or mines and don't mind that that's just me breaking uh yeah they're pretty good to get they're a little worse than using all 30 portable or advancers if you want to use that um so it can really cut yourself down or you could use both and then just have it be like time 16 instead of times four it's pretty cool i use inside my setups a lot that really made a setup that doesn't use these they're like practical rebirth items and they're easy to use for the most part uh again i just want to remind you that this one's big in width and this one's big in length so it depends on what type of setup you're doing if you're doing one that's like super squeeze the tight corners going like this thick or if you're doing one that's super long like this and you don't want it to be taken up by a catalyst you can use a quantum but again, if you're doing something that's like tight corners right here, you're rather use a, you'd rather use a catalyst than a quantum. And they do send off ores quite fast, so uh, I recommend you put some there to stop it. Or you have a furnace directly after them, or a turn uh, after a couple conveyors, obviously. Uh, but it's not bad. Um, I wasn't too disappointed when I got it. I like it. They don't really have any special particles except for the catalyst with those. And it actually looks really cool. I have a bunch of them, so they're fairly common. Um, but uh, it depends who you are, if you like it or not. And that's all I have to say. So remember, be cool, stay you, and be awesome. Bye.